Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I am so excited to be playing for you today, The Colonist. It just released today, um, or maybe to tomorrow that this video comes out, I'm not sure. But I can tell you now, finally, it's been a secret that I was lucky enough to be one of the beta testers on this game. So I have about 83 hours in and I can tell you that it is adorable. Um, it's fun to play and the developers were very passionate and they were quick to respond to anything that we gave them including uh, recommendations and you know any any kind of features that they were working on and they were just amazing to work with and I appreciate it um, it was an honor to be able to contribute to this game and Richard especially was very good at, at helping us with any uh, bugs and they were very quick to respond um, and fixing. They worked day and night, weekends, um, uh, on getting everything resolved quickly. Um, and so that was so much um, of a help to us and that we were able to give them some feedback. It was just a lot of fun. I'm so thankful that I was lucky enough to be able to do that. So we're going to jump in and I can tell you it is just a fun little game to play and check it out on Steam. It's out now and you guys will not regret it. I'm excited to find out what else they um, have added that we don't know. I know they were working on some new features, so I'm excited to see what, what they've done um, that we didn't get to see yet. So thank you all so much for watching and let me know in the comments what you all think about this cute little game. Okay, as you can see guys, this is, um, I've played several of these levels. Some of them uh, I've played that, that do not show um, completed yet. I've already done this one here. Um, we had access to unlocking all of them. Uh, so I'm going to be restarting these to find out the uh, what kind of story they've added and, and such. So we're going to start at the first one, which also includes a tutorial. Um, we don't have the ability to skip that, um, but since I already know how to play it, we'll be going through that pretty quickly. So I'm going to let you guys read the story because I've already seen it. So you can pause and go ahead and read it for yourself. Such a cute little ship. There he is. Hi, little buddy. And then I got to be friends over this last um, month. <laughs> there they are. Okay, at last, Terma Firma. <laughs> we finally reached a habitable planet and we can set our wheels to the ground. You're a drone bot, fight or flight gamer, that's me, and are in charge of colony operations. This looks like a good island to test our anthropic, anthropic, I don't know how to say that, systems. Okay, so I already know how to do this, so we do have the ability to skip this. You have a few resources to get started with. They do give you a few. Um, all right, I clicked it. There we go, didn't click it hard enough. All right, so we're gonna try to skip through this to get to the actual um, play. Okay guys, so what I can tell you um, before we kind of jump into uh, to this is on this screen here you have your different tabs down here for your different resources, the ones that we have available to us right now. Uh, the ship, right here, let's get back up here, comes with the first starter logs and the first uh, energy uh, for you to get started. You're going to need a lumberjack hut right away, and you're going to need a lot of lumber. So you may need two, um, but we're going to start out with one. It shows you what you're producing from the hut and what your demand is. Of course, right now we don't have the lumberjack hut or a demand because we just got here. Um, and then these tabs up here, uh, the ship is the only thing that we have producing lumber right now, so when he's sleeping. And then your demand is on this tab. It'll, it'll tell you uh, what your current output is um, or what your current demand is and what the maximum number is. 
that they could demand and that'll be important down the road um, but for right now uh, we just want to look at the the current and you'll see what I mean once we start building this tab right here is what you have in storage uh, obviously the ship is the only thing that we have that can store things right now but there are storage yards in the game and road post rules I'll explain those later and this just gives you more additional information this is the tab that I use the most now they've added quite a few um, little helper things going on and I'll explain those uh, as we go alright so it wants us to build a lumberjack hut so we're gonna go ahead and, and do that this is actually they've they've moved everything around for us the the beta was a little bit different so forgive me if um, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> okay guys sorry it took me a minute to figure out this is a different build than what we were working on so uh, they've added this this kind of tutorial in here so um, I might be kind of stumbling around for a minute till I figure out where everything is that I know <laughs> All right, so it wants us to build a hut. Okay, so this, this is really cool because it tells you what you are going to need to produce that particular resu uh, resource. So you're gonna need trees and you're gonna need energy to produce logs, all right? Okay, so we, chose the building block here the only thing we have available right now is the lumberjack hut so let's add that all right it's flashing because it it needs uh, a resource this button right here is an alert to tell us that the path is not connected everything has to be connected to a road post so this is your road post Says to click on the logs. I already know how to do this, but we're just going to go through it so y'all can see um, the tutorial. All right, it tells you uh, what's in progress. It's going to give you that information. Red circle on the log icon means that the lumberjack immediately needs logs. Okay, so this little red dot up here means you need something, that you're missing something have some logs of the colony ship but there's no route to the lumberjack so we have to uh, create a road so you go back into your build menu this little icon right here is a road and there's a road post which is this thing here and there's a road path and I'll show you the difference here okay once you click on there all right so these can only go three or four length maximum of three or four so this is four so we're gonna go here this will be very important later on um, how you set up your roads so you don't get road blocks all right got it roads can be four to, oh, four to six okay I lied build another road to connect your lumberjack okay so what you want to do is you want to connect the building you're building with the road Okay, so it wants us to connect this road with that road. It's, it's telling us where to connect it, so we're just going to do that. Now it'll show you the resources that are going to this building right here. As you see, it says Lumberjack up here. These are the resources that are currently in route. That'll be important later on when you get a big colony and you want to see where your resources are. If something's taking a while to get to a building, um, you want to know if it's in route or if you're short on that particular resource you can highlight the building and you'll see it uh, right here which is a very cool feature okay and one little thing I wanted to show you which is so cute if you click on your carry bot he will wave at you he or she I'm not sure which okay so now we have the little lumberjack hut these are carry bots and they travel between the road posts and then you have your little stacker bots who um, move your your supplies back and forth to the hut and 
the building and all that stuff. Okay, so it wants us to click on the lumberjack hut. It's going to give us additional information. He's already started working even though we didn't tell him where to work because he's smart. <laughs> he goes for the nearest trees. Um, so the production panel of the building tells you the needs, status, and the current output of the building. Some bots, such as lumber bots, need extra power to carry out their job. You can see him, he's working right here. He's running out of power, so he's going to need power pretty soon. Alright, the extra power is provided by the energy resource. This panel tells you that the lumber bot needs one level one energy resource per day to keep going. That would be right here. Okay, the colony ship generates a small amount of L1 energy, but your colony will soon require lots more. Yes, it will. You can generate additional L1 at residences, so let's build a residence. Okay, so residences are very important. They're what provides you the energy. So this panel tells you how much energy the, re the residences can generate and which resources are needed to do so. Okay. So, for a residence, you need water and food, and it's going to go ahead and give us this house right here. So there's our first little house. Now, this, remember, this little yellow icon tells us that the path has to be connected. So this is flashing. We'll, now, you could connect a road or a path, but I think it's better to connect the, the path. Actually, it wants us to do a road, so okay, we're going to do a road. Later on, after we get done with the tutorial, you can just bring the path on over. And path, there is no um, limit to the length of it. You can increase, we okay, already know that. We can uh, increase the speed either up here or with your Z and X, and you can pause with spacebar. Good, now let's watch the construction resource uh, resources reach the residence. So there he is. And then we have our little uh, copier here. Um, it's finished, but as the icon, icons above it show, they don't have the required resources to produce the energy. So they need water and they need food. Um, so, and it also says either fish or meat. Um, just depends on where you're at, which one you have access to. The first thing it wants is water, so that's important. So you go into the little food tab here, and we're going to make a well. Is it going to tell me where to put the well? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, now we have to connect it to the path. Is it going to? Yes, it is. Okay. This is what I was talking about. This is the path. So I want you to just connect it right there okay so now we should have water here pretty soon and the other one is food so it wants either fish or meat and this is a small island we have access to fish right here so we're going to go ahead and put in a fisher hut again you go into your food hut and there it is all right if you look at these blue fish right here, it'll tell you where you can put this. And R is rotate. And F is flip, so you can flip it. And they have to line up, it's just like a little puzzle, like that. And the, the end of the fisher hut has to be touching one of those blue uh, fish there in order for it to work. Now it's telling us we need a path. So we go back into the path and it's telling us where to connect. All right, so our little buddies will get busy here. These are little um, builder bots. They all have little names, they're very cute. See the little fish jumping. All right, so we'll come back when that's finished. Okay, so Mr. Fisherbot here is gonna do some fishing and when he's done, we'll watch him here. He will bring it over to our residence over here. You see it's already disappeared because they know it's coming. So they'll take it over here and they'll load up the house 
and they'll start producing energy. And when that energy is finished, uh, they will either put it in a storage bin or they will um, bring it right to whatever building happens to be in need. Okay, so we're going to run out of stone. Uh, we actually don't have any stone right now. So we look around the island for the resources we need. Here is stone. Stone is very important, but as you see, it's outside the boundary that we have. But it wants us to click on it. It'll tell you how many stone you have. This pile has 75 in it. It's used to make more advanced buildings. Um, if it's sitting on top of the surface like this, it is called a surface deposit. Um, you need a surface mine to go ahead and mine it. Okay, but before we can get to it, because it's out of the boundary, we need to create, uh, we need to expand our, our territory. So let's do that. And to do that, you put up what's called watchtowers. So you go into your build menu. And this little icon right here is our watchtower. And you'll find out more about these later in this beginning stage. They're just level one watchtowers. But la later on, you can get ones that actually attack um, other uh, AI, which is kind of cool. You can see where the little chess pieces are. That's where you can put your tower. Um, and you want it as wherever you want it to go, wherever you want it to expand. We want to get the stone, so move it around to the stone area. And what you want to watch for is if you see this right here, um, that is where your path needs to attach to the tower. So make sure you don't put that, if you flip it around this way, um, you may not be able to bring a path to it. So always have that pointing uh, in the direction where you can access a path, uh, path very easily. Here um, we can go ahead and attach this road to it pretty easily. Okay, so you can switch between building modes using your hotkeys. There is a list of hotkeys in your uh, in your menu. Um, if you need to destroy a road over here, there's this cute little dump truck. You can destroy a road. But right now we want to go ahead and add a path. Um, we're going to go ahead and add a road out a little ways just because we're going to be bringing resources probably to this area um, and that's the better way to do that. So we just want to connect that path right like that and they'll get busy running over there. And it's pretty cool how it, how it expands. We'll get out of the tutorial here and I can show you, um, once this is done, how to get into the game mechanics of it. Because it is, it is a very chill game, um, but you do have to think about it. <laughs> or you can run out of resources really fast and, and get yourself into, into trouble. Especially later on when you get into the, uh, the combat situations, you have to move a little bit quicker and actually plan out your routes and plan um, your resources carefully um, so you, to make sure that you are doing it in the right order. Um, so it's not one you can sit back and not pay attention to, um, but it, it is a lot of fun to sit and watch your little guys run around. I just love that. Okay, so we have our watchtower now and what we have to do is, I'm going to pause that just for a second. I know I'm talking a lot, but I want to give you guys as much info as I can. Um, if, as you've noticed, our little lumberjack here is cutting down all these trees, and he will. So you have to pay attention, because if he cuts down trees um, and you run out of trees, well, you're in deep doo-doo, because <laughs> then you got nothing to build with. So they have... Uh, put in the game, obviously, some mechanics that um, 
other games surprisingly did not do in the beginning um, a way to regrow those trees. So over here we have a, a uh, way to grow those trees. Okay, right next to the lumberjacks. Okay, we've moved some stuff around. Okay, here it is. We've moved some stuff around so it's a little bit different than the build that uh, I've been playing on. So here is your forestry um, tab here. So let's build a forest hut. The best place to put this is as close to the area of trees you want uh, her to replant. Um, again, watch where your path is. You want your path um, facing the direction so you don't have to like go all the way around to be able to hook up your paths. So let's go into path. We're going to go ahead and bring the road out. Switch to path. There are hotkeys for this too. I believe it's one and two. Okay, so now she's connected. This little icon right here is telling us that we haven't marked an area for her to rebuild, which is this key up here. So you have to tell her where to plant. Um, you can actually tell her to plant way over here. It does not have to be the same area that the lumberjack is uh, taking out, but it, I don't know, you just put it wherever you want it really. You just drag it to whatever trees you want her to replant. Now, when you get later in the game, I will give you a tip. Um, you're going to want two or three of these. And that's probably jumping way ahead. I'm trying to give you all this information um, way too early in the game. <laughs> but I want y'all to know everything. <laughs> Well done, this means you won't run out of trees. Okay. Your territory has expanded and now includes it includes a stone deposit. Go ahead and build a surface mine. Okay. So we can do that. Also, it helps to put the surface mine as close um, as you can. on fast so we're going going pretty fast to finish this tutorial so I can get into the heavy duty building for y'all. Alright. So he's gonna be harvesting stone and it requires one energy also. So to watch your energy levels, go in here, click on this. So the demand is now great, greater than the supply of energy. This means eventually the lumberjack and surface mine won't be able to work at 100% efficiency. Build two more residences to increase the supply of L1 energy. Another tip, you can control and select a building to duplicate it. I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't know if that's a new feature. Let's try that out. Oh, look at that. Okay. That kind of saves you from uh, uh, going into your menu, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now you can look at these production. You have the capacity to produce more L1, uh, but more residents mean more house spots needs, so the demand for food and water has also increased. Build another fishing hut to increase your food production. So if you look at this, you have current uh, production of 0.3 a day. Now the demand shows zero right now, but that will that will go up. We don't have any um, other buildings right now using it, so we're okay for that. All right, it's going to make me do this first. We have our little second fisher bot here, and we have a functioning colony, and our skills are looking promising, guys. <laughs> I obviously haven't seen you play this game. When you're ready, it's time to move on to somewhere with a bit more space. Okay, so that was that was mission one. That was the tutorial. Um, I will be playing the full game for you guys. It gets exciting down the road. 
It gets a little hectic also, but it is so much fun. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Let me know what you're thinking about this game. If you're planning on getting it, um, I would highly recommend it. It's great. Thanks, guys. See you soon.